Goedemiddag en baie welkom by hierdie webinar. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to everybody joining this webinar. I just want to give a few seconds for everybody to join and then we will start with the presentation. Ek gaan net een paar minute gee, dat allemaal kan opkom op die webinar en dan gaan ons begin met die aanbieding. Goed, ek hoop allemaal het um, aangesluit. I hope everybody joined. Um, once again, my name is Mariki Smit um, and I'm the Chief Education Specialist at Impact for Hospitality Studies. Uh, we are going to do this presentation this afternoon about um, the waiter practical, which is a very important part. Um, my name is Mariki Smit and I is the Hoof Onderwijs Specialist by Impact for Gasvrijheid Studies. Ons gaan vanmiddag hierdie aanbieding doen op um, die, die kelder prakties, wat een baie belangrike deel is van die pad. Goed, kom ons begin daar en ons kyk. Ek wil net voordat ons begin sê dat um, dit baie belangrik is, as jylle my nie kan hoor nie, um, moet jylle asjeblief na jylle volume kyk op jylle um, rekenaar en dit opstel. Jylle sal automaties um, afgesit word by hierdie sessie wanneer ons begin. Wanneer jylle een vraagie wil vraag, is daar twee maniere. Jylle kan jylle handjies oplig op jylle um, bord aan jylle rechterkant op jylle skerre, of jylle kan in die question box kan jylle gaan vraagies vraag. Jylle kan ook hierdie um, aanbieding aflaai um, in jylle handout box op jylle skerre en jylle kan ook vraag vraag gedurende hierdie sessie in die question box. Um, Amal word als, asblief aangemoedig om vraag te vraag gedurende hierdie sessie en um, indien jylle dit nie doen nie, dan kan jylle na die tijd ook vraag vraag en vir ons e-post stuur na academie.impact.co.zi of jylle kan die antwoorde van hierdie sessie kry um, en indien jylle dit nie kry nie, kan jylle dit aanvraag by info at impact.co.zi. Ek wil ook vir jylle sê dat allemaal rarig aangemoedig word om vraag te vraag dier in hierdie sessie, dat ons jylle kan help, maar um, vraag wat ons van pas is, sal maak dat ons jou van hierdie sessie um, laat, laat afgaan. En dan wil ek jylle ook net wees dat al die opnames op die Impact YouTube kanaal gesy word of gestoor word vir jylle om weet te kan gaan kyk. I just want to go through a few basic things before we start with this presentation. First of all, if you can't hear me, please um, um, check your speaker and turn up the volume so that you can hear me. Uh, you will be automatically muted when joining the session. Um, should you have any questions, there's two ways that you can, answer, uh, can ask questions through this um, webinar. One is by raising your hand um, on your uh, desk, uh, desk uh, dashboard on your computer, and the other way is to ask questions in the question box. Uh, you can also download this presentation um, and additional resources in the handout box, so make sure that you get that. And then you can also find information in your question box um, on your right. Um, remember to send us all your questions if you don't want to answer questions during, of ask questions during the session. Um, you will also um, ask to, to, to send questions to academic at impact.co.za um, if you don't want to ask questions uh, during the session. And um, afterwards, we will send out the, the answers to all the questions. And if you don't um, receive that, you can get it at impact, ach, info at impact.co.za. Please also, um, I also want to, to, to um, remind you about the Impact YouTube channel, where you can get all these recordings of the sessions. And please ask some questions. But um, if it's in, irrelevant or inappropriate, please um, note that we will dismiss you from the session. Okay, now I think we can start. And before we start, I just want also uh, also want to um, introduce Serena Jordan. Uh, she's an educational specialist at Impact, and she will be assisting with the technical aspects of this uh, webinar. Thank you, Serena, for that. I will ook net vir Serena Jordan voorstel aan julle. Sy gaan dier die webinar vir my help met die techniese aspekte van die webinar. Baie dankie, Serena, daarvoor. Goed, vanmiddag gaan ons kyk na die pet kelner specifiek, die prakties van die kelner. En ons gaan op die stappen concentreer wat nodig is voor die bediening van gasten. Let wel dat hierdie webinar in twee sessies aangebied gaan word, omdat die stappen verschrikkelijk baie is en dan gaan die sessie baie lang maak. 
So hier is net die helft van die webinar en dan gaan ons weer een tweede deel doen waar ons die ander deel gaan bespreek. This afternoon we're going to focus on the pet weighted task, which is the practical and uh, which are very important. Uh, just take note that we are going to look at the steps for um, serving guests. And today this is only part one of this uh, webinar and we will do a part two on it to discuss all the other um, steps um, in serving the guests. So just make sure that you, you notice that. Goed, vanmiddag gaan ons kyk na die volgende stappe. Eerste gaan ons kyk na mise en plas, wat dit beteken. Ons gaan kyk na hoe ontvang jy gaste. Ons gaan ook kyk hoe laat sit ons hulle aan die tafel en wat moet ons precies doen as ons die kelner is. Ons gaan kyk hoe ontvou ons die servet en dan gaan ons ook kyk hoe die spijskaart aangebied word. So first of all, we are going to look at the mise en plas. We are going to um, look at how to receive the guests, how to seat the guests, um, how to unfold the serviette or the napkin, and also how to present the menu. So this is the things that we're going to focus on this afternoon, as well as the following steps. After that, we will do the, uh, the order of the drinks. We will also do the removement of the uh, unnecessary covers. We will also do the orders of meals and also bread service. So vanmiddag gaan ons ook dan verder kyk na die bestelling van drankies. Na dit volg die volgende stap waar die verwijdering is van die covers wat ons nie gebruik nie. En dan ook gaan ons kyk na die bestelling van maaltuie en laaste die broodbediening. So dis waar ons gaan stop met die sessie vanmiddag en dan soos ek gesê het in die tweede deel van die sessie of die webinar gaan ons um, kyk na die volgende stappen in die bediening van die kelder. So next time we will look at the following steps after the bread service um, in the service of guests. Goed, heel eerste gaan ons kyk na die mise en plas en wat beteken dit. So first of all, we can look at the mise en plas and what does it mean? I always tell my learners that it's about three things. And the first one is your uniform. So make sure that you are uh, pro dressed properly um, as a waiter. And then also we're going to look at the environment. So this means um, if we talk about the waiter pad, this will be in the restaurant. So things like opening the windows, um, switching on the lights, um, sweeping the floors, moving the tables, all those things will, will cover the environment. And then also the apparatus, which we are going to look at this afternoon um, to set your table. We gaan altijd kijken naar de uniform. So die mise en plas sluit dit in. Hoe lyk jy as een kelner? Is jy reg volgens die reels um, aangetrek? Dan kyk ons ook na die omgeving. In ieder geval as ons na die kelner kyk, sal dit wees in die restaurant. Wat doen ons alles daar voordat ons begin om die tafels te dek? En dit sal goed insluit soos um, via die vloere, skuif die tafels reg, sit die lichte aan, sit die muziek aan, enzovoort, enzovoort. En dan gaan ons kyk na die apparaat om dit correct te kry voordat ons gaan begin om die tafel te dek. En dis waarop ons vanmiddag gaan focus, daai laaste deelkie. So neem net in acht dat ons praat van die hele mis en plas in die restaurant en nie net die apparaat nie, maar ek gaan vanmiddag focus op dit wat jy as kelner moet doen by jou tafel wanneer jou pad doen. So just take note, we're going to focus on the apparatus this afternoon which the waiter must do during the pad. So that's what we're going to focus on this afternoon. Okay, first of all, uh, when you do your mise en plas, and this is something that the kids don't do very often when we assess the pads, um, the mise en plas is very important. So this is your preparation before you can start laying your table. So this will be done from a waiter station. Um, die kelner sal altyd van die kelner stasie afwerk, so voordat jy jou tafel dek, gaan jy jou apparate en goed recht kry op een kelner stasie. Nou, ek wil net vir julle sê hier, so dat indien jy nie een kelner stasie het op een, op een buffet kas nie, gaan jy sommer net die tafel langs jou um, tafel sit wat jy gaan bedien, um, in, ge in geval van die pad. So if you don't have a waiter station, you can just use another table next to your table, which you're going to lay. And normally it looks like this. So this is your waiter station. And um, the waiter will work from this station to lay the table. Daar is jou a voorbeeld van jou kelnerstasie. En die kelner sal dan van hierdie stasie afwerk om die tafel te dek. Goed. Kom ons van ons stel, hierdie is jou tafel. So dit is van boe af en ons gaan nou kyk wat moet ons alles doen. So let's say this is your waiter station or your table which you're going to use for the um, preparation. Then we're going to look uh, from the top and see what do you need to do for your mise en plas before you start laying the table. Okay. First of all, you have to make sure that you have all your menus and your table numbers. 
Eerste moet jullie zeker maken dat al jullie spijskaarten gereed en jullie tafelnummers. So dan pak ons dit nou hier op die tafel uit. So ons maak seker, ons het al ons voorbereiding gedoen. So we place all these things on the table and make sure that we did the mise en place properly. Volgende is die peper meeliekie, wat ons seker maak dus vol en ook jou sout en peper. So next we will do the um, pepper mills and also your salt and pepper. You will fill the, um, the sets. Um, you will also look at your um, toothpicks. Make sure that you have them. In, in, it doesn't matter how you're going to use them. Just make sure that they are there and you know that it's part of your mise en place. Maak seker van die tanne stokkies. Um, hoe ook al jy dit gaan gebruik, dat jy dit ook gereed het vir jou tafel. Dan moet je zeker maken dat je ook jouw kelner vriend of jouw waiters vriend, jouw bottle opmaker gereed het bij jou heet als een kelner. Uh, make sure you have your waiters friend ready for you to serve the guests. Then also make sure, sure that you have your folder for the um, bills at the end and your pen and some sweeties there. So just unpack it on your table or pack it on your table and make sure that you have everything there. So take it off uh, from your list. You will also remember in the previous webinar that we did with the mise en place, one of the students asked for an example. Um, I, I said that I'm not going to give an example, but this is more or less your example of what you need to do. Um, at the end of the day, the order doesn't matter as long as you do everything that is on this table at the end of this, um, this uh, presentation. Goed, so, jylle kan hierdie gebruik as a voorbeeld. Um, onthou net dat die volgorde nie rechtig saak maak nie, maar jy moet al hierdie goeders doen voordat jy met die tafel begin. So, een van die leders het in die vorige webinar gevra, um, wat moet alles gedoen word, en hulle soek een voorbeeld. Ek het gesê, ek gaan nie een voorbeeld gee nie, maar hierdie is basis, alles wat jy moet doen, so hoe ook al jy dit doen in jou volgorde, um, sal recht wees. Dan volgende, kyk ons na jou tafelversiering, wat jy ook moet recht kry. In hierdie geval is het de kerstander, so die kersen gaan moet ingesteek word en aangesteek word, net voor die gasten kom dan later, so maak seker jy het virokies en alles wat nodig is. Uh, we also have to look at the table deco, in this um, case it's the candle holder. Um, make sure that the candles is, is ready and that you have um, some matches or a lighter to light the candles just before the um, guests arrive. Then also we need to look at the linen, so you have to take this out from the store. Um, or the storeroom, so maak seker die linne, met ander woorde, jou servette, jou tafeldoek, alles wat jy nodig gaan hee, is ook uitgepak en mooi gestruik en skoon. Must be um, ironed and clean, so make sure of that. Then you're going to polish your um, cutlery, that's also very important. Most of the kids don't do this before they set the table, so make sure that there's no fingerprints on the, on the cutlery and that, that it's um, clean and polished. So ja, jylle moet asjeblief die eetgerei afvryf met jylle uh, vatdoeke of jylle kelner diendoeke en sorg dat het skoon is voordat jy kan die tafel dek. Dan moet ons ook al die breekwaar um, skoon maak en kyk dat het uh, nekies en skoon is en nie gechip is nie. So make sure all the broccoli is um, polished and clean and that it's not chipped. So pack that on the table also. We'll place that on the table. Then also your underplates. Make sure, especially when it's silver, um, to polish it and make sure that there's no fingerprints on it. As jylle silver um, onder borde gebruik, maak seker dat dit ook skoon is en dat daar nie vingerafdrukke um, op die, op die an, onderborde is nie. So maak rechtig seker alles is mooi skoon voordat jy begin. Dan, verder ook iets wat die kinders gewoonlik nie doen nie is, hulle moet hulle glase stoom. So om dit te doen, sal een mens jou een klein bakkie gebruik en dit sal nie op die tafel gebeur nie, dit gebruik op gewoord gebeur op jou stasie of aan die kombuis. Um, this will not happen on your, on, your, uh, on your table, so this will happen on your station or, at the, um, or in the kitchen. Um, so you must steam your glasses. So what do you need to steam your glasses? First of all, a small little bowl with boiling water. So you put the boiling water in the bowl and you use your service cloth um, to just put it over the bowl. And then you will put your glass in that um, bowl just to steam, and then you will polish the glass. So um, to clean the glasses, you need to, to steam it. So you sal net die bakkie vol kookwater gooi. Jy gaan die servet boe oor die bakkie sit met die glas daar onder in, so dat, maar nie binnen die water nie. So net so dat jy kan dit, um, die stoom vang en dat dit in die glas ingaan, en dan gaan jy die glas mooi skoon afvryf, dat hy baie mooi skoon kom, voordat jy dit gaan gebruik. Hierna moet jy lasseblief ook die glase aan die steelkies hanteer en nie aan die glase vat nie. So after you clean the glasses or steam them, don't touch it again, just um, touch it at the stem of the glass. So just make sure of that also. Then we also need to um, 
to prepare the, the tea and the coffee. Um, so in this case, you won't uh, pour the coffee and the tea in um, at this moment. You will just uh, place everything on a tray and will fill the milk jugs and um, the sugar bowls. Uh, remember, we always say that we need three bowls. So one is for white sugar, brown sugar and sweetness. Um, and also then your uh, serviette, which is a lily fold and your side plate with your um, coffee coffee uh, jug or coffee um, pot that you're going to use. So maak seker, jylle gaan ook die thee en die koffie um, recht sit. Uh, vir die thee gaan jylle die theepoetjies by mekaar sit, jou suikerbakkies, maak seker, dat is altyd drie. So een is vir die wit suiker, een is vir die bruin suiker en een is vir die uh, versoeters. En dan gaan ons ook ons koppies met ons doilies en ons theelepakkies recht sit. Ook gaan ons ons melkbekerkies vul met melk en dit in die ijskast beherre tot ons het later gaan gebruik. Maak dat ook seker, jy het jou koffiepot gereed en dan jou lelifou wat ons laas ook in een van die webinars gedemonstreer het, en dan jou um, klein borkie of jou, um, ja, jou klein borkie wat jy gaan gebruik vir die koffie. Goed, dan die volgende ding wat ons moet recht kry is ons broodmankie. So vir die broodbediening gaan ons een broodmankie gebruik. Ons gaan een servet insit met jou dessertlepel en dessertvirk vir die silverbediening. En dan gaan ons ook een klein borkie met uh, doily en jou uh, botterbakkie uh, gereed kry, waarin dan ons, ons dan ons botter sit. So you also need to prepare your bread basket for the bread service. So we will have a bread basket with your serviette in it. And then also your dessert spoon and dessert fork, uh, which we will use for the silver service with your um, butter bowl at the, the side, with your doily and your, um, your small plate that you're going to use for that. Okay. Dan moet ons ook laaste ons um, apparaat gereed kry vir die crumbling down, of die afkrimmel soos ons dit sê. So daarvoor het ons een klein borkie nodig, weer eens met jou dessertlepel en dessertvirk, met die um, servet wat in die driehoekie gevou is. So for the crumbling down, we use a side plate, your dessert spoon, dessert fork, with your um, serviette folded in a triangle. So that is the mise plus that you need to do before you start laying the table. But we also need to make sure that everything is um, prepared at the bar and that will be the barman's work and so on. But you need to make sure that you have your ice bucket ready and put that next to your station. So if you need that, um, it will be ready. So maak ook seker dat kroeg reg is en voorbereid is met alle garnierings en alle apparaten. Maar dis gewoonlik die kroegmanse werk. So jy moet net seker maak as een kelner dat jou ijshouwer um, met sy staner ook langs jou stasie staan en gereed is en die nie dit sy nodig kry vir die gaste. En dan een baie belangrike ding wat ek wil hee, julle moet onthou, en dit is wat die kinders ook baie verkeerd doen. Wanneer hier die stasie baie nabe aan die tafel is, is hulle gewoonlik, um, of wat hulle gewoonlik doen is, hulle vat sommer net het van die tafel af, of van die stasie af en sit het op die tafel. Hulle moet asjeblief altyd een skingbord en sy diendoek by hom hee, wanneer hy die bediening doen, so al doen jy die mis in plas, Jy moet nog steeds jou skingbord vat, sê dan maar die borde op die skingbord sit, of die um, asbakkie op die skingbord sit, of wat ook al jy gaan nodig kry, en dit dra na die tafel toe met jou skingbord, en altyd jou diendoek by jou. So please make sure, a lot of, the, uh, of kids don't do this when we do the assessments, you always have to use your, um, your, your tray with your serving cloth when carrying apparatus from your station um, to the table. Never, never just um, uh, take your hands and just carry it with your hands. You must al always use your tray um, for your mise en place and for the service um, uh, for, of the guests. So at this stage, um, Serena, if there's any questions, um, please raise your hand or if you have any questions about the mise en place at this moment, you can please ask now. Um, as daar enige vraag is oor die mise en place, kan ons julle nou help, Serena, asjeblief, om die vraag te antwoord. Um, there's a few questions in the question box. Um, I'm just going to read it um, to you. So the first one is, um, when laying the table, would you also have to put a table number on the table? Uh, yes, you have to put a table, table number on the table, uh, but we will discuss it when we go further in the steps now. So ons sal nou aangaan, um, in die volgende stappe sal julle sien dat ons wel ook een tafelnummer moet opzet. Dus hoe kom ons om nie so op die tafel het, sal met die um, spijskaart. Um, I think the next question um, is with regards to the specific equipment when laying the table. So the question asks, um, do you have to provide this or um, do we have to provide um, 
or do we have to provide this? The operator second, no, operator. Yes. Good. Yeah. Okay, um, in the case of impacts assessments, um, uh, if we go to the schools uh, where we do the assessments, uh, most of these apparatus are available if the school offers hospitality studies, but we will let you know if you are an impact client, we will let you know. Um, if you are not an impact client, you have to discuss this with your, with your assessor that you're going to use. As you impact client, this gaan ons meeste van die tijd by ons op sy eens waar impact die assessering doen, um, as ons skole gebruik wat gasvrij studies aan het, hierdie apparate voorsien. Maar jylle moet maar net kyk in die e-poste wat ons uitstuur. As jylle nie impact cliënte is nie, dan moet jylle maar net met die assessor ooreenkom of hulle dit voorsien en of jylle dit self moet voorsien. Maar in de meeste van die gevallen beveel ons aan dat leerders hierdie apparaten gereed krijgen al van graad 10 af, want dit is nodig om elke jaar je pad te doen. So we recommend that you get this apparatus from grade 10, uh, or borrow it if you don't have it, and then use it until grade 12. Okay, um, the next, next question asks, um, where would we be able to get the uniform for the waitering? Okay, there's a lot of places where you can purchase the waiters, uh, the waiter uniform. So um, I know uh, for the boys, we did discuss the, the dress code, um, just look in your tasks. So for the boys, a black um, pants and white shirt with a bow tie, I know you can buy that at um, some of the clothing stores, or I know the Chinas also um, sell that for 15 Rand each. So you can look there. Um, and your uh, waistcoat, um, also clothing stores, or um, you can like hire some so, some some of those also uh, for your pet if you don't want to buy it. So you can do it work by clear winkels work or by um, by funny chinese for work work the 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 bow tie of the strict dasies we can say maybe under bikes or you can it learn. So you can buy the clear actually quite easily to can buy. Most of it is white book that are made in the cast of so. Um, so ja, dit hoort nie probleem te wees nie, en die, die diendoek is eindelijk maar net een lappie wat jy gebruik, so um, as jy nie een kan koop nie by boardmans of een van hierdie plekke, kan jou ma of jou ouma sommer vir jou eenekie maak met die naapwerk. So if you don't get um, the serving cloth, maybe your parents or um, your grandmother can help you to sew one, um, so that's not, not a very difficult thing to get, um, to get these days. So any piece of um, extra material you can use to make that serving cloth. Um, the next question asks, um, do we get marks for doing the mise en place? Yes, you will see on the mark sheet that there is a space for mise en place and how you prepare your restaurant and how you lay your table. So definitely, yes, you will get marks for this. Uh, ja, jylle sal definitief punte kry vir die mise en place en jou voorbereiding van die restaurant. Jylle sal sien op die punte staat dat het wel die eerste punt is waarna ons alles kyk. Het jy hierdie in plek gesit en dan begin, begin jy met die tafeldek. Okay, the next question is, do we make our own table number and menu? Yes, you can. Uh, for the practical, if it's not a function in a school, then we can uh, do our own number and our own uh, menu. But like I said in the previous webinars, uh, there will be a prescribed menu for grade 10 to 12. So don't use your own dishes in the, in the, um, in the menu, only the cover which suits your theme of your table. So you don't need to use your own dishes in the menu. In partij van die plekke of partij instanties gee een spijskaart vir die leders, dit is van ons stel om eindelijk so te werk, maar daar is van die instanties wat ook um, vir die kinders geleendheid gee om hulle eie spijskaart op te stel. In inpakse geval krij jy een voorgeskrewe spijskaart en jy met die tafel daar volgens stek, want dit is wat ons toets met die kelner um, pet. Um, goed, dan um, is die ijspak verplichtend? Nee, dit is nie, maar dit onthou ons is bezig om... Uh, een vijf ster bediening stijl hier so te demonstreer en dit is waar die pet gaan. So in hierdie geval, as, as een mens nie een ijsbak het nie, dan kan jy een plan maak dat jy miskien net nie die stander nou noodwendig nie, maar miskien een type bak of een, um, een emmerkie of iets in die plek van daar die ijsbak gebruik wanneer jy die wijn bedien. So if you don't have an ice bucket, you can maybe make a plan and just um, um, take something like a plastic uh, um, plastic bowl or something else that looks like this uh, when serving your, your um, wine. So please make sure that you do have the equipment or replace it with something similar to use when you do your serving. Good. Um, the next question is, how many people need to be able to do this? The minimum is 4 to 6. We expect the minimum 4. 
Um, ek gaan weer sê, want dit is baie belangrijk, baie van die assessors laat die kinders net vir een plek dek, en dit, um, dit is nie aanvaardbaar nie, want ons moet kan sien of die lijnen van die glase en die covers um, se, se borde oor een kom met mekaar. So, um, jylle moet asjeblief vir vier dek tot ses. So, minimum four to six, six guests. Um, you need to lay the table for them, because we need to see if the, um, the covers is in line, especially the glasses and the, uh, the underplates, if that, that's in line um, with each other. Okay, um, if the apparatus is not available, where will we get a list um, given um, for the impact students? Okay, for the impact students, we do have a list in your study note uh, for the chef and for the waiter. So you can just check your study note. So in your study note, there is a full-year-age list of all the apparatus that you need for the kelner and for the chef. Okay, um, if we can't get candles, can we use something else um, instead? Uh, yes, that's fine. Uh, you can have, just remember this is an example. So you can have any other uh, table decor uh, that you can use. Let's say, for example, I had one of the students um, which took a theme for Christmas last year, which which they did the pack later in the year and they took Christmas. So anything like Christmas decor they can use on the table. Um, so this is the same with the table As you decide, you can use a Christmas theme for example. Dan kan jy kersversiering en goed op jou tafel gebruik. Dit hoef nie noodwendig een kersstander te wees soos hierdie voorbeeld wat ek gebruik het nie. Maar hierdie voorbeeld verduidelik eindelijk jou tafel decor of jou table decor. So this just represents um, your table decor. So you can use anything, flower arrangements, blommerangskikkings, dit maak nie saak nie enige uh, tafelversiering. And then, um, kan ek een wit striptas gebruik? Yes, dit is raag, jylle kan dit gebruik. Uh, die kleer maak nie so saak nie, dit is meer die vereistes van hoe een kelner moet like uh, wat, wat, wat belangrik is. So the color doesn't matter, it's the requirements that um, is important. Um, die laaste vraag op die stadium is, um, as, ons, as ons teeter nie ons pad aanbied nie, waar moet ons ons prakties doen? Goed, um, in inpakse geval um, en in sakkuise klientese geval is dit dat jylle een goedgekeerde assessor moet gebruik. Dit betekent dan jij kan een paar contact voor een lijst of zo kan je het ook wel een uh, um, goed gekeerde lijst uitgestuurd naar alle cliënten. Zo um, so maak zeker jij krijgt iemand. Als je niet iemand hebt in jouw area niet, dan kan je ook um, aanzoek doen om iemand wat um, die vak aanbiedt in jouw area ook te laten goed keer om te helpen om je. Zo so je moet niet vragen wanneer je ze koopt. Goed, uh, dat is de enige vraag op deze stadium, ja. Goed, bye. Dank je voor allemaal zijn vragen. Dank je voor all the questions. Let's go on to the next step. Okay, so I just want to give examples before we go to the next step of the MISM Plus. Um, this is uh, examples that some of the learners did, but you will see uh, that's not 100% correct, but more or less um, the, the MISM Plus is done um, okay. So here is net voorbeelde van wat kinders gedoen het. Um, jylle sal sien, hulle is nie allemaal 100% nie, maar dit is wat ons bedoel, en dit is hoe dit sal like aan die einde. So alles word so op jou tafel uitgepak, um, en dan kyk die assessor en daarna gaan ons nou begin om die tafel te dek. So this is just examples. Um, yeah, so net for you a bit better to understand. Good. Now it's all the preparation we did, and we did the preparation, and now you laid your table. Um, so the table will look like this, more or less. So you let all your table now get dark, and it like more of more. So you can see there are also a different type of decor that is used. There's a different type of decor used there um, with the table, uh, the menu, and the table number, and all the apparatus that are necessary for the for the. Um, the main course of or the, uh, the, the, the function that we're going to do. Good, so now that the table is decked, I'm going to go over this part for the morning, because everyone will go over the table deck for the spice card that is written on You will lay your table according to your menu, and then after that, the guests arrive. Okay, so this is the following step. So step two is that we the guests must welcome or ontvang by the door. And as you look here, this is very clear. I hope this makes for you sense, but you can also ask questions at the end. Dit, die processen wordt alles in je handboek of mooi verduidelijk. So this process, procedures of receiving guests and all the mise en plus and everything is explained in your textbook. So you can go back to the textbook and make sure that you know exactly what to do. So let's start with receiving the guests. So first of all, when the guests arrive at the door, there will be two people involved um, in this um, receiving and welcoming of the guests. But I just want to say first that first impressions, and this is what this stands for, is very, very important. So they need to receive the guest in a very friendly manner. 
So the two people involved there will be your maitre d', which will be the person at the, uh, which will be the person that uh, um, is at the reception or the door of the restaurant, and also your waiter. So that is the two persons involved with the receiving of guests. So I can now weer say, wanneer ons die mens ontvang is dit baie belangrik dat as hulle inkom by die deur, eerste indruk is altyd baie belangrik, so hulle moet baie vriendelik en professioneel die mense groet en verwelkom. Um, die gaste gaan dan eerste na die maitre die toe wat by die deur gaan staan en daar's twee mense in in hierdie proses betrokke en dit is gewoonlik die maitre die wat die mense eerste sal ontvang en daarna gaan die kelner betrokke wees om hulle na die tafel toe te vat. So nou het ons gaste ingekom en hulle het nou na die maitre die toe gegaan. So eerste, wanneer die gaste inkom, it's very important that you acknowledge them in 30 seconds. When they enter the, um, the door, you, the maitre d' needs to acknowledge them in 30 seconds and then um, greet them and receive them at the reception. So wanneer die gaste ingekom het, baie belangrik moet die maitre d' die, die gaste erken binnen 30 secondes en hulle dan ontvang en groet. Goed, daarna, is het ook belangrijk dat die, uh, dat die maitre d' die, um, die gaste se bespreking controleer, hulle moet die kelner voorstel en dan kan, as die, as die maitre d' bijvoorbeeld bezig is of nie daar is of wat ook al nie, kan enige ander kelner instaan vir die maitre d' om hierdie twee funksies of drie funksies wat ons nou van gepraat het te doen. So, when the maitre d' um, uh, received and greet the guests there, the next step will be to check the reservation and also introduce the, uh, the, uh, the guest to the waiter. And if the uh, maitre d' is not available or busy or whatever, then any other waiter can um, help with this function. Okay, so the next step will be for the um, waiter to um, go to the reception. And like we said, we introduce the waiter and then the guest will walk with the waiter to their table. So let's, let's pretend that's the table and it's number 12. Okay, so the guests walk with the waiter and then um, the function of the waiter is to greet friend in a very friendly manner and also speak to the guest in a preferred language. So it is belangrijk that the kelner hulle baie vriendelik groet en dan ook aanspreek verkieslik in hulle voorkeur taal. The, the waiter needs to ask the guest to follow them to their table. So just make sure that they follow you and vra asjeblief die gaste om jou te volg na die tafel. So ek gaan net vinnig weer opsom. Die gaste kom in by die deur. Eerste indruk is baie belangrik, die meiter die ontvang hulle. Hulle erken hulle, hulle groet en ontvang hulle baie vriendelik en hulle kyk na hulle bespreking. Hulle stel die kelner voor, die kelner is nou hier so by die voorkant van die restaurant. Hy neem die gaste saam baie vriendelik en in hulle voorkeer taal gaan hulle vra om, die, uh, om na die tafel toe te kom saam met hom. En dan ons sal nou kyk daarna, hoe gaan hy hulle help om te sit. So I just want to, um, to sum this up quickly. When the um, guests arrive at the entrance of the restaurant, first impressions are very important. Um, so the major D will acknowledge them in 30 seconds, receive them there, there at the front and also greet them properly. And then um, check the reservations, introduce them to the waiter and then, take, uh, and then the waiter will take them to the table, um, greet them friendly and also um, speak to them in their preferred language and then um, they will follow you to the table and we will um, look in the next step how to seat the guests. So this is the um, receiving of guests and also the um, vervang, of the ontvang van gaste, the process wat ons gaan volg wanneer onze kelner is. Goed, so ons kyk nou na stap 3. Hoe sit ons of hoe see, see, how we seat the guests at the table? Um, so we don't tell them where to sit. Sometimes there is um, names, uh, name tags on the table. Uh, sometimes they, there's not, no name tags, then they can sit where they want to. But first of all, the waiter is involved here. So when they, uh, uh, the waiter receive or um, the guest and uh, greet them friendly at the reception, um, the, the next step is that the waiter will ask the guests to follow them. So make sure that they follow you. Okay, so uh, very important, if you look at the theory part, escort your customers to the table and make sure that they follow you. So the waiter will ask them to follow him to the table. And then um, you have to draw a seat for the lady. So let's say, for example, this is your table. So this one will be, um, we, we will take out the seat for, for the lady. And then always remember that we go anti-clockwise anti around the table. So never forget that. So the next one, there's the next chair. 
we will leave this chair because this is a woman and the next one will be a man. So then after that, you uh, draw a seat there for the next lady. So ladies always first and then go around and just leave that chair. So I just want to explain this again. So the, the um, guests will enter enter the reception or in the, the, ex, uh, the entrance of the restaurant. The maitre d' will um, receive them, greet them, um, introduce the waiter, and then the waiter will walk to the table and ask the guests to follow them. And he will uh, draw a seat for the first lady. So ladies first, you don't help the men, they can help themselves. So the ladies first, so you draw this seat for the first lady. You walk anti-clockwise around the table, you leave this seat, you will draw a seat there for the next lady and then walk around the table. And um, that's how you seat the guests. I can net hierdie vinnig in Afrikaans ook verduidelik, wanneer die gaste nou by die restaurant ingekom het. Dan gaan hulle saam met die kelner loop na die tafel toe. En um, hy het omself nou klaar voorgestel daar so, of die meiter die het om voorgestel by die, restaurant, by die voorkant van die restaurant of die ontvangs. Um, hy het hulle vriendelijk gegroet, hy vat hulle nou na die tafel toe. So, in hierdie geval gaan die um, kelner hulle vergesel na die tafel en hy moet seker maak hulle volg hom, laat hulle nie verdwaal nie. En dan gaan hy die tafel, ach, die, nou, by die tafel die stoel uittrek vir die eerste dame. So in hierdie geval gaan ons hierdie stoel uittrek. Um, ons gaan altyd onthou antikloks gewaas om die tafel loop, so dit is baie belangrik. Baie van die leders vergeet dit en loop soms met die keer hierdie kant om, die keer ander kant om. So jy moet altyd antikloks gewaas om die tafel loop. So ons trek die eerste stoel uit vir die dame. Dan loop ons om die tafel, ons los hierdie stoel. Want dit gaan een man wees wat daar sit. Dan gaan daar een vrou wees wat daar sit en sy gaan ons dan ook haar stoel uittrek vir haar en ons gaan omloop en ons gaan die man sy stoel los, hy gaan homself help. So dit is hoe ons die gaste laat sit aan die tafel. So dit is die volgende stap, stap 3. So ons het hulle ontvang of ons het ons mis in plaas gedoen, ons het hulle ontvang, ons het hulle nou laat sit by die tafel en dan gaan ons nou kyk na die volgende stap. Goed, hoe bedien ons? En ek wil voordat ons um, begin met die bedienings, wil ek net hierdie extra slide en gesit om, om te verduidelik dat kinders kan onthou um, wat ek kan en wat ek kan met ons wat bedien. So I just um, um, added this um, slide to this presentation so to help you to remember um, on which side must we serve what. So let's say you do this. I know this is a webinar but maybe you can try and do that with me so just do that and um, you can look on your left and you will see a B and you can look on your right and you will see a D on your hands. So you see there there's a B and on the other side, there's a D, okay? So just remember that always when you serve people. So if you're not sure, just check your hands and you will know which, which side must you serve what. So you will always know that you hand is so fat, and you hold it for you, on the linker kant is a B, and on the rechter kant is a D. And then um, as you unsure is what kant you must bedien, then look at your hand, or if you um, make sure that what kant you must bedien. Word. So for understel nou daar is ons gas hieronder, dan sal dit so werk. Aan die rechterkant het ons gesê dier, so al jou drinks of jou drankies gaan aan die rechterkant van die gas, want as die gas hier so sit, oor sy rechterskouwer gaan die drankies bedien word. In ander woorde, jy gaan ook die glase aan die rechterkant op die kouwer sit. Um, so jy dek dan jou glase aan die rechterkant, jy skink jou wijn aan die rechterkant, jy skink jou koffie aan die rechterkant, al die drinks is aan die rechterkant dier. Goed. Okay, so if, if, let's pretend this is the guest and he's sitting at the table. So if you look at the, uh, the D on the right side, you will um, serve all your drinks on the right side. You see there the D uh, for the drinks of drunkies. Um, so you will serve from the right hand side. You will serve your drinks, your coffee, your wine, um, Milo, um, all the drinks that you're going to serve, um, you will serve from the right hand side of the guest. Good. Dan aan die linkerkant sal jylle sien, daar is een beer. So, dit staan vir brood of bread, um, en dan ook bol in Engels, maar Afrikaans werk nou nie lekker nie, maar jylle sal onthou een bol, en dit sluit eindelijk al die papierwerk, en all the paperwork is included here. So, bread, bol, and all the paperwork. So, dit beteken dan hierso, dat ons ook die spijskaart en die wijnlijst van die linkerkant af sal bedien. Ok, so this include all the paperwork, so it also means the bol, uh, the wine list and the menu will be served from the left of the guest. So, maak seker altyd hierdie brood, ook natuurlijk die slaai sal van hierdie kant af bedien word, want dit word in die broodporkie gesit. So, hier is een baie makkelijke manier om dit te onthou. Goed, 
So uh, just again, all the drinks from the right hand side and all the bread in the bowl and the salad from the left hand. Ok, en dan is daar vraag wat ons gewoonlik baie kry. Die kinders vraag altyd, maar wat as ek nou linkshandig is? Um, ongelukkig is meeste mense rechtshandig en ons sal, dus ook om ek aan hierdie kant gemerk het, sal ons die tafel dek vir rechtshandige mense. Indien jy dan links is, moet jy maar nou jou cover net een beetje skyf so dat hy vir jou kan werk. So most of the time, um, the, the, the learners ask us, what if you are left-handed? Um, most people are right-handed, so we normally um, set the table according to right-handed people. So we don't change the covers, they can change it when they're eating um, or when they're busy eating. So yeah, um, this is just a way to remember the sides um, that you need to serve the guests. It's not a manier om te onthou. Um, so yeah, hou hierdie prentje heel tyd in gedachte, wanneer ons nou na die volgende paar stappe gaan kyk, asjeblief. Just keep this uh, picture in mind when we look at the next steps. Okay. Die volgende stap is stap 4, waar ons dan nou die servet gaan ontvou, en baie min leders doen hierdie tijdens die praktische. Um, a lot of kids uh, forget about this step, but it's also very important. Okay, so let's pretend that this is the table, and you will see that um, the black one is the men, and the pink one is the ladies, and then you will also see that the big one is the host. Okay, just for you to remember. So, this is the host, and it means that this is the guy that, let's say, for example, your father took you to the uh, restaurant or took his friends to a restaurant. He invited you to a restaurant with you, uh, with him for, let's say, for your, his birthday. Then the other people um, is his guests. So this will be the host. And most of the time, you will also pay the bill. Um, and you will like, um, you will also rec uh, um um, recognize him because most of the time this is like a, the leader of the table if I can say it like that. So in hierdie geval sê die mense nou onthou net vir, vir, die, uh, um, vir die verduideliking wat ek nou gaan doen is hier so ook een servetje vir die vrou maar ek het om weggevat so dat ek net vir julle kan wees hoe my die ontvouwing gebeur. So just make sure uh, just for the explanation uh, the serviet is also there um, I'm, I'm going to show you how to unfold the serviet um, so I just took that one away um, for the explanation. So here is the tafel and here is the gas here dan, met andere woorden. Goed, kom ons kyk gauw weer na alles. Eerst onthou net altyd, ons weet wie is die gas hier en van hom af werk ons antikloks gewaas rondom die tafel. So in hierdie geval sal ons daar die dame sy servet eerst ontvou. Hier is die gas hier, ons gaan antikloks gewaas, ons gaan daai kant om die tafel. So ons gaan eerst hier die dame sy servet ontvou. Nou wat die kelner gaan doen is, hy kom dan en staan langs die dame en onthou ons het nou gesê dat meeste mense rechtshandig is. Remember that we said most of the people are right-handed, so everything will be done from the right hand. If you don't know, then it's from the right hand. So onthou dit net, as jy nie seker is nie, dan doen jy dit van die rechterkant af. Goed, so die kelner staan nou aan die rechterkant van hierdie gas. Hy sal haar servet vat, wat nou op die tafel was, en net skit, so een of twee keer aan die kant, nie in haar gezicht nie, en dan ontvouw hy die servet, en hy gooi dit dan boe op haar skoot, nie op die tafel nie, asjeblief, daar is maar net om vir julle te verduidelik, boe op haar skoot, gooi hy dan net die servetkie daar so, en dit is hoe ons die servet ontvouw. So if you unfold the servet, uh, the waiter will stand on the right hand side of this lady, because it's the first guest uh, on, on the right of the uh, host, um, you will stand on the right hand of the guest, unfold the napkin, um, and please not in her face, but on the side, and then just um, place it on her lap, but not on the table, on her lap from that side. And then, um, just so, uh, sorry, and then the next one will be, we will do the same procedure for unfolding the, um, the serviette. Um, we will go this way around the table. So this guest is the next one that we will do. So the waiter will stand on his right, um, unfold the napkin and place it over his lap. Dan gaan ons naar die volgende dame toe, aan haar rechterkant, dan doen ons precies die saafde wat ons nou daar gedoen het, en jy laaste die gas hier. Jy maak net seker, jy onthou dat die gas hier altyd laaste is, en dat ons altyd antikloks om die tafel gaan, gaan um, loop. Ok, so this is step number four, um, how to unfold the serviet. Please make sure that you do this here in your practical. Maak seker, jy doen hierdie met die prakties. Goed, dan gaan ons kyk hoe die spijskaart aangebied word. Nou, op hierdie stadium het ons naar die gast ontvang by die restaurant, ons het hulle aan die tafel laat sit, 
um, ons het hulle nou gemakkelijk gemaakt, ons het hulle nou laat sit, ons het hulle, um, hulle surfekkies ontvouw, um, en nou gaan ons van hulle die spijskaart aanbied, en natuurlijk ons self voorstel. Ok, so at this stage, we receive the guest, we seat at them, uh, we unfold their napkins, and now we have to present, uh, or introduce ourselves, and we also have to present the menu to the guests. Ok, so let's look again at this table. Once again, this is the ladies, and that is uh, men, and then this is our host. Okay, I explained the host, I get to say what is the gas here, so here is the gas here, two dames and a man. Then gaan the um, aanbied van the spice card always ook gebeur anti-clock device on the table, so always anti-clockwise around the table, so all your services like that. The kelner gaan come and he stand here so along the table by the gas here. And then gaan he Yes, to say um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is, let's say, Pity, and I am I will be your waiter this this evening. So the the kelner stel himself now for any guest, and I say, "Goeie naam, dames en heren, of goeie middag." My name is Pity, and I shall kelner for the on the So I stel himself by him, "Goeie nekies and friendly for," and then work by a belangrijk. When the guest now has sat it, when it two minutes, must the spice card be given, and then as the guest needs the spice card, by your fucking. So you can not langs the gas near on the table where you can kan in your hand. And then also um, make it sure we are going to do the same thing with the wine list. So he can also the linker kant wees. So the same procedure that I now going to explain for the spice card, can we also use for the wine list. And then we will always say from links of it, as you look at your two hands. Okay? So after the, the, the waiter introduced him, himself, then Two minutes. Um, after two minutes, when the guests are seated and you introduce yourself, you must present the menu to the guests. And also, if you walk around the table and they don't want to take the menu at that stage, you can just place it next to the guest where they can um, reach the the the, uh, the menu. And um, the same procedure that which I'm going to I'm going to explain now will be um, done for the uh, waiter uh, for the wine list, um, and it also from your left side. If you remember your hands, okay. So first of all, um, this is a guest of honor, honor again, and we go anti-clockwise. So if I introduce myself as a waiter, then I will start walking around the table to this side. From the left, because it's the paperwork, it's from the left hand side. We will um, give the menu to this lady first. Then the next one will be that guest there. So we walk around the table like that. From his left, we will present the menu, and the next one on that side, and then last the host. Okay. Now this this guest will decide what they're going to eat and so on, what they're going to drink, and then we will look at the next step. So just remember, from the left hand side, and always anti-clockwise around the table, and the host is always last. Okay. So now we are going to take the orders of the drink. That's the next step. Um, ons gaan naar die bestellings kyk van die drankies. So kom ons van ons tel weer eens hier is die tafel. Ons twee dames sit daar so, ons, ons, ons man sit daar, en dan um, wil ek net vir julle weer net wees voor ons begin. Kyk na die kante van jou handkies, links en rechts, onthoud dus die orders van die, van die drankies. So dit, uh, dit is die bestellings van die drankies. So um, ons gaan altyd kyk, excuse, ek het nou lekker die mekaar gepraat al, dit is die bestelling van die drankies, of the orders, of the drinks. So we always look at that. Left, no, the right hand side, because D is for drinks, D is for drankies. Good. So, here we sit on um, Skelner. He is going to come and he stand by the table, because he is going to say his bestelling. So, the waiter will come, stand next to the host first, and he will take the orders of the drink. So, after they look at the wine list, they will decide and we will um, take the order now. So, on down now. Hier is die gas hier weer sal die kelner anti-clocks om beweeg om die bestellings van die gaste te vat. Dan sal ons aan die rechterkant staan. So we will stand on the right hand side of the guest because it drinks again. And this is the host. So we will start with this lady first. We go anti-clockwise around the table and we will start here, stand here and take her order for the drinks. So then we will do the next one on that side. We'll do the next one on that side, and we will um, do the host last. So we will anti-clocks omgaan, we will do the bestelling, we will do the bestelling, and then we will stop. 
is ook belangrijk dat die wijnkelder altijd twee um, stukjes of twee, uh, die best, als hulle die bestelling neerskryf, twee duplicate sal hee, want hulle gaan een vir die kroeg vat, en hulle gaan een vir die kassier vat, om die bestelling te plaas. En dan, wanneer hy klaar geskryf het, hy het allemaal sy bestelling nou gevat, rondom die tafel soos daar, en dan gaan hy dit moet herhaal, en baie van die leders vergeet hierdie stap. Jy moet altijd zeker maken dat je bestelling correct is, voordat je die bestelling gaan plaas. Ok, so this is very important, the wine steward, um, you need to take two slips, one for the bar and one for the cashier, so that they can place the orders and um, to do the controlling and so on at the end of the restaurant function. And always remember, if you're done with the, um, the, the taking of the orders, then you have to repeat it. Stand here again, next to the table and repeat your order, so that you make sure it's the correct order. Okay, so like I said, this is the host, we will go anti-clockwise, from the right of this lady, we will take the order, we will go around the table, from the right of that guest, we will take the order, from the right of that lady, we will take the order, and last, the host. Okay, then if we're done, we repeat it, and then we take it to the kitchen, and ach, to the bar, and to the um, cashier, to um, do the order. So, ons vader dan daarna, um, nadat ons het herhaal het, na die kroeg en na die kassier toe. Die controle. Goed, so dis hoe ons die drankies bedien. Nou kom ons by die afval van die, uh, die onnodige covers, of um, we are going to look at step 7, and that is to remove the cover. So first of all, once again, a cover is a set place for one person. So you can see in this, in this case, there will be four covers on the table, and in this case, we're not going to use this one. So let's say something happened, and one of the guests, um, phone the restaurant and say, we, I'm not going to come anymore, so I've got a problem, um, and, and sorry, I'm going to miss this, this lunch or dinner or whatever. Then we will remove the cover. So as you look at the table, there are four covers. This is a gedekte plek for one person. This is what our cover noem. And we're going to go here in the want because one of the guests had, for example, and said, they can't come So we're going to go this cover in the table of the table. So this is what we're now going to look at. Good, so how do we do this? Heel eerste sal ons weer kyk dan, daar is ons gas hier, en onthou nou daar gaan niemand nou sit nie, so ons gaan, het, ons gaan nou, daar is nie een gas daar nie, so ons gaan nou die uh, cover wegvat. There is no guest there, so we will remove this un, un, unused cover. So weer eens, onthou waar is die gas hier, hier is die gas hier, ons gaan altyd anti-kloks gewys om die tafel, maar in hierdie geval is dit nou net een wat ons gaan ver, uh, afval, of verwijder, so dit is baie makkelijk dan, jy stap net na die cover toe, so in this case it's only one cover, so you just walk to the cover, and then the waiter will stand there, and with his tray, it's very important, with your tray, you will do this. So once um, once you started to remove the cover, you will put your side plate on the under plate, with your napkin, and then your cutlery, and on top you will see the two glasses like across there, they will um, be on top, and you will remove the whole cover once um, on your tray and take it um, away to your station. Um, if there's more covers that needs to be removed, then you will do the, the same with the next cover. So um, one whole cover will be removed at one stage. So as you the cover wegvat, sal die kelder hier so kom staan, met sy skingboord, baie belangrik, is hierdie wat hy gaan doen, hy het die onderboord met sy, sy klein boordkie eerste, dan sit jy jou servekkie op met jou um, eetgerei, en dan um, kom jou laaste, jou twee glase wat so oorkruis met mekaar is, plat op die um, onderboord, en so vat jy dan die hele onderboord, of die hele coverse um, eetgerei, vat jy dan op jou skingboord weg, na jou uh, kelnerstasie toe. Goed, so dis hoe ons die cover wegvat. Then, um, in certain situations, we will take orders for meal, but for you, when you get a prescribed menu, the people will eat what they get, but in some cases, there will be a choice between um, dishes within a course. Um, so for, for a voorbeeld, by, um, by van, van die gerechte sal jy a kees kry. Kom ons vat bijvoorbeeld een voorgerecht. So sê nou maar, in hierdie restaurant is daar een vastgestelde spijskaart, maar hy het a kees tussen groentesop en hoendersop. Dan sal jy daai um, bestelling moet neem, op hierdie stadium nou. So dit sal net wees wanneer dit nodig is. Ok, so for example, if you have... Um, vegetable soup and chicken soup as a choice in your um, starter, then um, you will do this um, order of the meals or what the, the guests are going to take. So sometimes it's not necessary, but uh, sometimes we do have a choice or with the main course, let's say, for example, you serve um, steak, 
then you can ask them, will it be well done? Or would it net medium views? Or who can you ask that it, um, that yet? Then would you then do a bestelling gaan vat? Altijd onthou dat die bestelling van die gasse rechterkant van die gasseer gedoen word, so met ander woorde, soos ons nou gesê het, as die gasseer sit, gaan ons anti-kloks gewijs om die tafel, so dit sal die eerste gas aan die rechterkant van die gasseer wees, wat sy bestelling jy eerste vat. So always remember, if we take the orders of the customers, it will be the first one on the right of the host, and we go anti-clockwise and take the, the orders around the table. If we're done, um, I did explain, you can do it with the start and the main course. Ek het verduidelik dat jy dit met die voorgerecht en hoofgerecht kan doen. Dan um, sal jy dit moet herhaal. Omdat altyd dat die herhaling baie belangrik is om seker te maak, jy het alles precies recht soos die gaste dit wil hee. Just remember, repeat the order always after you took the orders. It's very important to make sure that you have everything. En dan hierdie is ook altyd belangrik in sekere gevalle waar ons speciale die eet en diens um, vereistes het. So ek gaan gauw verduidelik, sê nou maar iemand is een diabeet of iemand is allergies vir iets, dan gaan jy moed uitvind daarvan en iets anders te moet uh, voorstel. En in die geval van dienstvereistes, baie van die funksies is so dat jy 12 uur in die avond moet klaarmaak, en as jy nie klaarmaak nie, dan gaan jy um, soos ekstra geld betaal om die restaurant te gebruik of wat ook al. So this is in cases where you have a special dietary um, need, so some people are um, vegetarians or some people are um, um, diabetes, or they have diabetes and then you have to know um, and um, recommend something else in the place of that or um, help them um, to, to indicate what, um, what dishes they can't use or um, eat. And then also in serving, if there's serving requirements, that is in, in cases where restaurants, um, let's say for example, the rule is that it closes at 12 o'clock and you want to stay longer, then you will have to pay penalties to do that. So that's just, um, some things that you have to keep in mind when ordering your meals or um, when there's special diet, dietary needs or um, requirements for the services. And then if you are happy with the, uh, the order, or as you gelukkig is met die bestelling, dat jy weet precies wat allemaal wil bestel, kan jy daar die bestelling by die um, kombuis van plaas, of by die, um, ja, by die kombuis, want dit is die kost. So then you place the order at the kitchen, or with the kitchen, and then uh, they will prepare the food. Goed, dan die laaste stap wat ons vandag nou gaan kyk, as deel van die pack, eerste deel wat ons nou gedoen het, is die broodbediening. So dit is baie belangrik, jylle sal ook sien, hy het al vijf punte op jou punte staat, die, as kies toch die broodbediening is baie belangrik, uh, the bread service is very important, because it counts five marks on your mark sheet, and you have to do it. Ok, so let's pretend again, that this is your table, there's your guests, your ladies and your gent there, um, Remember about your hands, the serving sides, and this is bread, so it will be on your left hand, or over the left shoulder. It sal on your linker kant wees, onthou. Hieso het ons weer eens ons um, gas hier. Goed, dan kom die kelner, want onthou ons het gesê, ons gaan altyd anti-kloks gewijs weer om die tafel. Goed, so die kelner kom staan hierso, want hier is die gas hier, en hy gaan nou gebruik sy skinboard, met sy um, rood mankie en sy servekkie, jy sal sien, hierdie prentje het nou nie servekkie in, wat jy mooi kan sien nie, maar het is servekkie in met sy um, eetgerei vir die silverbediening, uh, die dessert, lepel, dessert, virk, met jou botterbakkie. En hy gaan nou hier kom om die dames brood te bedien. Ok, so the waiter will um, serve the guest on the right of the guest of honor first, and he will stand here on the left, just remember bread's on the left, so on the left hand side, you will take this apparatus, the bread basket, your dessert spoon, dessert fork, and your um, bowl for the butter, and then um, ask the lady if she wants bread, uh, vraag die dame of sy brood gaan neem, en as sy sê ja, gaan hy van die linkerkant af op die klein boorkie, die broodkie neersit. So if she say yes, that she wants bread, you will serve the bread on the side plate from her left hand, of her left hand side. Okay. Then remember once again, I said anti-clockwise around the table. So the next guest will be this one here. Um, so you also ask them if they want bread. Yes, I'll throw if I can bread fat of neem. And then I say, yes, sal you die bread op sy klein bord neersit. And so gaan ons dan aan, na die volgende gasse linkerkant toe. And then last, the host. So we'll go anti-clockwise, starting with this guest. Do the same procedure the whole time. Anti-clockwise from the left, from the left, from the left. And just remember, when you do your practicals, you have to tell the assessor this. 
So explain what you do. So let's say, for example, if you um, explaining the bread service, I'm going to take example. So you will, you will tell the assessor, um, I am the okay the way or the waiter because you are the waiter. So the waiter will use a bread basket and um, the utensils there. You can name all those utensils um, if you hold it in your hand, and then you will tell them. Uh, this is the um, host so i will start from the right hand side of the host with the first guest i will um, ask the lady if she wants some bread and if she agree that she wants bread then i will place it in the side plate so you will explain to the assessor what you are doing while you're busy doing the role play with the correct apparatus that's very important and then you must also mention that you have to walk anti-clockwise and then again from the left hand side um, ask the guest if they want some bread um, and if they don't want bread you skip them if they want bread you place it in the side plate and go anti-clockwise the next guest and and last you serve the host so you have a very nice way to do it when you do it very for the assessor with all the apparatus in your hand what do you with that apparatus you can't just stand and do it you have to do it what do you so I'm going to say you have to say for example I is the kelner and I go to the bread bedien. So for the bread bedieners, I use a bread mankie, my dessert lepel, dessert fork, my butterbakje, my skinboard, and my dingdoek. Then I stand up on the right side of the 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 gas on the right side of the gas here. I go first to bedien. I stand on the person's left side of the bread. I throw a little of the bread to go to them. As they say, I go to the bread in the small bakje on the left side of the gas bedien. Dan stap ik antiklokgewijs naar die volgende gast toe, doen diezelfde, verduidelijk alles wat ik nou gezegd heb. En dan, um, als ze bijvoorbeeld niet brood zoekt, nie, dan skip je hulle net. En dan ga je naar die volgende gast toe, maar altijd de laatste, die gast hier. So dit is hoe ons dan moet verduidelijk, hoe ons die brood bedien. En elke stap wat ons gaan doen, moet ons so verduidelijk voor die assessors. Om te verseker, hulle weet precies ons weet, wat is die rechte procedure. So it's very important to explain and to show during the practical, especially when we use role play. Good. Dan wil ek net gauw vir julle hier so een voorbeeld wees van een dochter wat baie prachtig haar broodbediening gedoen het. Um, sy het nou nie een skinboard gebruik nie. Dit is ook ok, jy kan dit so doen. Uh, uh, this, this girl, she did a very um, good practical. Um, she didn't use a tray, but it's also fine. You can use it like this. Or um, in this case, she, she placed the butter on the table. Um, before she served the bread, so it's okay if you use it, do it like this. Um, and yeah, so you will see, then she go around the table and explain why, she, why she's doing this practical. So this guest on the left hand side, she asked for the bread and she served the guest. So that is what we want you to expect. It's important that you have a nice way during your practice. Good. That brings me now to the end of your presentation. This is the end of this presentation. Serena, ek dink as daar enige vraag kan ons nou ook antwoord, asjeblief. Goed, um, hier so is een vraag wat vraag, kan jy die vrouwens voor mekaar laat sit, of moet hulle oor kan mekaar sit? Is daar specifieke volgorde? Ja, gewoonlik in formele funksies sal het so wees dat daar man, vrou, man, vrou sit, maar as het net vrouwens is, kan hulle ook langs mekaar sit, dit maak nie saak nie. So with formal functions, there is a rule that say, um, you must, you must uh, place the people like men, women, men, women all the time. But um, if there's only um, ladies attending this function, then they can sit next to each other. Okay. Um, how do I have a maitre d um, and a waiter um, during the, the, the pad? Okay. Um, if you don't have one because you are going to do role play and maybe you and one assessor will do the assessment, then you will just pretend that the the maitre d already um, 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 greet and um, welcome the guests, and then you start from your steps forward and do the practical. So as you have a maitre d yet with your patni, or as you net met your assessor your patni, then can you from your kelner step off? Can you say, "Come some with me to the table to end," and from there up the steps and then. Um, what if the customer's partner wants to draw the seat for the women? That is can work gebeur, so dan is it do it recht, dan los jy hulle, laat hulle doen. So if the partner wants to draw the seat for the lady, it's fine, you just leave them and you help the next lady. So that's that's fine, you can you can do that. Okay, um, um, moet dat net een spuiskort na die praktische vat, of um, vier spuiskorte? 
Ons verkies dat jy net eindelijk een vat, want jy gaan, of jy kan vier maak as jy wil, maar dit is baie ekstra werk um, op die einde van die dag. So as jy een het, is het goed so, as jy vier wil maak, dan is het ook goed so. Dit, ons gaan nie veel punte aftrek as jy net een bring nie, maar jy moet een op die tafel hees. So um, if, if you make your um, own menus, um, we prefer one at least, but if you have time and you want to do four, that's also fine. You won't lose marks if you only bring one to the, to the bat. Okay. Um, can the students stand in one position to take the drinks order or is it imperative to take the order um, on the right and then moving anti-clockwise around the table? Yeah, I know if the table is bigger, then you will walk around the table, but that's the rule. So um, it, in some cases, the restaurants just uh, or the waiters just stand on one side. But if you are a sommelier and you know how to take the drinking orders, you will walk around the table. So for, fu uh, for formal functions, I would say walk around the table. And if you repeat it, then you can stand next to the host. Um, so just let's let's try to do the rules as it is in the textbooks and the basics for now. Um, yeah, but it's not... not um, wrong if you if you don't do that but we we prefer that you do it the correct um way for the formal functions ons verkies dat jy dit op die regte manier doen vir die formele funksies so loop maar om en dat ons kan sien jy weet van wat er kant af moet jy die bestellings vat en sovoorts asseblief um as jy die cover verwyder moet jy al die borde gelyk vat of moet jy 'n paar keer loop om al die apparate um van die tafel af te verwyder Nee, jullie sal onthou dat ek gesê het, wanneer jy die cover afhaal, gaan jy alles op een slag afhaal. Ek wil net ook hier so iets sê, wat, ons, wat ek, ek het nou nie gefokus op die cover en hoe dek ons na die tafel vanmiddag nie. Maar asjeblief, die kinders moet nie die boord op die tafel sit nie. Julle sal sien, um, in meeste van my aanbiedings het ek glad nie boord op die tafel nie, net te onderboord. Onthou dat die kost word opgeskep en die kom by, is lekker warm en dan word het na jou toe gebring, want ons bedien, ons bedien met boordbediening. Um, wanneer ons die functies doen in skole en in restaurante vir gastvrijstudies. So moet asjeblief nie die sobord en die bak en die nagerechtbak en alles en die koppies en alles op die tafel sit nie. Ons gaan in die volgende webinar gaan ons kyk na die koffiebediening en wijnbediening en tot aan die einde by die afkrimmel. So maak seker, jy het net dit wat nodig is op die tafel asjeblief. Make sure that you don't put all the um, plates on the table and the soup bowl because that's not necessary. The food will be... Um, Plate it in the kitchen and we will use um, a, a plate service to serve the guests um, in the pad. So um, please don't put the plates on the tables and the cups for the coffee and all that's for uh, breakfast covers, please. En dan hoe gaan ek weet wie die gas hier is? Goed, is makkelijk om te weet wie die gas hier is. Um, as jy goeie kelder is en jou mense verhouding is ook goed, sal jy baie makkelijk sien in een restaurant. So eerste, Dit sal gewoonlik die persoon wees wat die bestelling ge, uh, geplaas het of wat die, um, die boeking gemaakt het, as ek so kan sê, die bespreking. En dan ook sal jy sien, meeste van die tyd die persoon wat sê, kom jylle, daar is ons tafel en hy neem half die leiding met die funksie. Um, jy sal hom ook baie of, of haar baie vinnig kan erken en sien um, en dit is dan die, die gas hier. So die assessors moet um, gewoonlik hier so die gas hier bykie rondskuif, so dat jy kan toets of die persoon of die kelder... Um, weet aan wat er kant hy moet bedien en waar hy moet begin. Um, so ek het nou maar vir my presentation allemaal die self te gehou, maar jylle kan hulle bykie rondskyp. So please, the assessors, if you join this webinar, please ask them and tell them um, different situations. So let's say uh, the guest of honor is sitting here now for the bread service. So next time when you do the, uh, the wine service, you tell them uh, this is the guest of honor. So just guide them and see and test if they know what to do, please. <clears throat> Um, do the students have to explain each step to the assessor? For example, um, receiving the guest, seating the guest, um, taking the drinks order, etc. Yeah, we prefer that, but because we, we, we're using role play, it's very difficult because if there's um, actual guests at the restaurant, it's easy because then you just do the, the you just follow the procedure. But if there's not uh, not guests and we just do role play, it's very important for you to explain every step that you do for us so that we know exactly that you know exactly what to do. So as a brief, it's important that you, when you use role spell, every step is very mooi verduidelik for the assessor so that they precisely know what you want to do. Good, Serena, we're going to Ik denk ik antwoord en dan um, denk ik gaan ons dan hierdie webinar afsluit en dan moet hulle maar hulle vraag vir ons stuur. Stuur, ja. En uh, die laatste vraag wat ons daar aan hanteer is, het jy een sekere tyd wat jy klaar moet maak of maak dit nie saak nie? 
Um, goed, dit is belangrijk. Hier die vraag wat je nou vraagt. Die, die kelderpak is gewoon zo so drie uur. Um, en dus hoe kom je drie uur uit om al je voorbereiding te doen, jou, jou bediening, alles dier te gaan. Zo so dus hoe kom je drie uur daarvoor uit. So yes, there is a time limit on the pack for the waiter. There is three hours. Oké. Okay. Thank you, Serena. Um, I think we're going to stop this webinar here or conclude everything. Um, there's just information for you if, you do, if you're not part of Impact and you want more information on our webinars, you can also look on our website. Um, there is webinars um, going of um, presenting for all the subjects and you can um, look at the pre -record, or the recorded um, uh, webinars on that um, Impact YouTube channel. So you can op the Impact uh, YouTube kanaal gaan kijken voor all die opnames wat van vorige vakken in van hierdie vak ook opgeneem is. So, um, Baie dankie van my kant af. Um, ek herhaal net weer dat hierdie deel 1 is van die pad. So dit is nie al wat jy tydens die pad moet doen nie. Ons gaan nog een webinar aanbied vir deel 2. I just want to remind you this is part 1 of pad for the waiter. We will have another webinar on, on the rest of the steps for the serving of guests um, in two weeks time. And yeah, once again, thank you for joining us. And practice, practice, practice because that makes perfect. Baie dankie en um, lekker middag vir julle verder.